So there are different ways to treat uh, DCD. Um, the first thing to consider is what are the organs involved and also are there symptoms. There are patients with DCD who have imaging findings, for example, involvement of the long bones, but they are not symptomatic. And so for patients without symptoms and without critical organ involvement, for example, the heart, lungs, or the brain, um, observation is a valid uh, management for these patients, at least uh, in the beginning. So patients can be observed uh, for months and sometimes even years without therapy. However, when there is an involvement of uh, critical organs or the patient is symptomatic, then certainly treatment is, uh, has to be considered or started. Um, the treatment of Erdheim chester disease is continuing to evolve. There are, again, there are many ways of treatment. Currently, it is important to know what are the uh, molecular findings or what we call the mutations within the biopsy because the presence of certain mutations may help us guide on how to treat the patient. So before uh, we knew about these mutations in Erdheim Chester disease, we have been using treatments that are borrowed or uh, used uh, in other blood disorders, uh, specifically chemotherapy, drugs, what we call biologic therapy, um, and they have to some degree uh, been effective in controlling the signs and symptoms of Erdheim Chester disease. We have yet no treatment that can cure our time chester disease. However, patients certainly with the condition can have a, a long-term life expectancy. Um, some of the treatments that we have used uh, in the past um, includes chemotherapy, steroids, um, biologic agents such as those used in rheumatology. But now with the knowledge that most patients have certain mutations. The most common mutation found in Erdheim Chester disease is a mutation called VRAP V600E. So it is very important to know if you have this mutation. Assuming that this mutation is present and assuming that there is a need to treat, then currently there is an FDA or federal, uh, there's an FDA approved drug for ECD in the form of bemurafenate. This is a drug that targets the BRAF mutation, uh, but only works in those patients with this BRAF mutation, which is about 50% uh, of the patients. The other 50% do not have BRAF mutation, but may have other mutations, uh, which may uh, be targeted by other agents. The um exact treatment option of course depends on your symptoms um, you know how your organ function is because several drugs go through different mechanisms in the body so you have to certainly discuss uh, pros and cons of every drug sometimes cost can be an issue especially with the newer drugs um, all of that being said the you know as we discussed previously the hormonal deficiencies the diabetes insipidus or low testosterone or so forth, we don't have enough evidence right now that treating our Chester disease with any of the drugs that were mentioned takes care of the hormonal deficiencies. So as of now, if you have those um, concomitantly, you need to be seen by endocrinology and be treated for those hormone deficiencies. If you have pain or fatigue, you may need uh, to see um, physical therapy or pain medicine as indicated. Uh, to keep your energy because fatigue can be another non-specific sign or symptom uh, that it can tackle alongside, but certainly be engaged in your own care with your provider.